welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so i saw this story and i want to share with you guys and i think i believe that is one of those stories that will make a lot of us think about how our male children and our female children understanding the fact that um, they're both human beings and um, you know you shouldn't love your sons more than your daughters and your daughters more than your sons or place less priority on your daughters you know in comparison to your sons and i believe there's a message in this i always say it if i feel there's no message in a, a story i don't cover it I, I typically don't i always cover stories that i feel like there's a story there for us to learn from share agree disagree whatever but at least discuss it you know and bring it to light so i'm going to read this to you guys it's not too much of a read but i want to read it so that you guys can get a feel of exactly what the story is and hear you know word for word how it is um this one is from linda ikeji right please follow this story it's not too long okay so um it says uh, tanzania football official he's a he's a football official he's not a football player he's a football official he's a buys brand new car for his first wife to wipe away her tears after he married another wife right a top tanzania football official haji sunday uh, manara has gifted his wife Rubiana, a brand new car as consolation after he married his second wife. The spokesperson of the Tanzania Premier League uh, side, Younger Sports Club, married his second wife, uh, Rusha, in April 2022. So, so according to Manara, he bought the car for Rubina to wipe away her tears as his decision to marry another wife was very painful. So if you go by that, it means he married since April, but now he bought her the car because since April till now, possibly she has been struggling with accepting the new dynamics of their marriage. So in his mind, buying her a car will take away the pain. So buying her a car would that or marry the new wife, the emotions and the pain she would go through on the inside. Somehow he thinks that a car is the solution do you know why i'm saying this right this is why i'm talking about how we raise our sons unfortunately we come from a culture thank god it's changing but where people feel like you know girls are the money makers and uh, people raise their sons to be hustlers and you know pursue money pursue money but girls are raised no matter the amount of university degree or whatever her own is to grow up and get a husband that has made it so the boys are raised to make it and the girls are raised to grow up and find the man that has made it so you know career wise she's not expected to be financially independent and all of that and i believe it places a lot of disadvantage in society when it comes to the male children and female children because this man now thinking that a car is his wife's problem if she was a financially independent woman that has all the money she needs, you know, a car would be the last thing he would think about buying her a car to appease her for sleeping with another woman. If this first wife was the daughter of somebody like Dangote, is he going to think that uh, I will buy her a car to keep her happy? Of course not. You get my point? Because Dangote's daughter, the last thing that is a problem in her life is a car. You see, poverty has a role in this. You no, know, you hear some people say, our mothers in their time, they tolerated this, they did that, they endured this. Look, women of these days have realized that this life is often beyond, you only come once. I remember a story, you know, some people that used to say, our mothers before us, they tolerated this. Why are you women of this generation? There were so many things our mothers did in their time. That was because they didn't have a choice. So everybody is beginning to be conscious of the fact that this is one life and they want to live this one life well. And for that reason, women no longer want a marriage they will endure. They want a marriage they can enjoy. A lady once shared a story that she said, she said her grandmother shared with them. She said, you know, olden days, they don't have the big houses and all those things, you know. So she said that her, their grandfather, when he married the new wife, you know, the new wife is the one that be excited about, that the wall of her room and the wall of the room where the husband will be with the other wife and they'll be making noise if you know what i mean in the bedroom and she will be here she's listening it, that it was one of the most painful things she had to go through and some people will tell us our mother's generation because they no talk no means say they were happy but this generation things are changing let's read let's read the rest of this okay uh, after he said that uh, because it was very painful he said it's not normal for me to give someone in public we have a culture that we inherited from our great grandfathers well when you marry a new wife, the culture of the Dar es Salaam people dictates that you should give the first wife something to wipe her tears away. The culture dictates that she is given something in front of her family and friends. When you look at my first and second wedding, they featured prominently online. And that is why I thought 
to gift her here, said Haji. Manara went on to say that his new marriage was difficult for his first wife, but she is a Muslim woman. Oh, I didn't even know they were Muslims. Okay. They are Muslims. Okay. So is that whatever? Okay. Let's go on. He says, who is obligated to adhere to the teachings of Islam? I thought of buying my wife a car. So you never even buy her car before until you marry second wife. Okay. He says, uh, uh, buy her car. It's not very expensive, but I gave her after... I gave her after seeing that she had desired it while on the road, said Manara. So your wife no even deserve car since. Okay. Anyways, I do this to ensure that my woman is happy just like I am. Uh, okay. Uh, marrying another wife when you have a wife is very painful. We do not do this to hurt them, but we do so for biological and physical reasons. On her part, his wife, Rubina, said, she was happy about the new gift. As a first wife and leader, I am not only welcoming her, but also the two others on the way. Oh, Lord. <laughs> the two others on the way. So she's already, oh, okay. I am very happy, my husband, she said. Meanwhile, take it to Instagram on Friday, October 7th. So that's why he's on the news, because he's current. October 7th is recent. Uh, October 7, 2022, uh, Manara shared photos of himself with his wives. If you hear a debate, stop me. This is it now. And now I have changed my number. Ha ha ha. Why joy? When God blesses you with such good wives, what else do you need other than to continue thanking and worshiping him? I feel like a king between two queens. And by the power of God, I pray that they die for me, these creatures, so that I meet them in heaven. Inshallah. And says, uh, and B, two are enough, so what purpose are the others? One would have been enough, but one was not enough, so there's no way he may want another two. Meanwhile, if you look at the first wife, uh, action, they say, speaks louder than words. If you look at her, she doesn't look happy. See the way she's looking? She doesn't look happy if you're looking at these pictures. And uh, look at... Um, Another picture where she's sitting down, she also doesn't look happy. So, but anyways, honestly, when I first saw this story, I didn't read the whole of it because sometimes I like to just read it here and have my raw reaction here. I didn't know they were Muslims. And I always say it, if you marry a Muslim man, you have to expect what is expected in Islam. Now, na thorough be that. That's how I feel about it. On the other hand, I still want to use it as an opportunity to speak about, you know, our men and women in our society. When women are at a disadvantage, I say, is it mostly we can marry four wives, but thinking that buying a wife a car would be enough to wipe away her tears. If the wife was a successful woman that could buy herself a car, he would know that the car cannot wipe anybody's tears. And then, like I said, the Muslims, they can do their thing. But at the same time, I still want to use to speak about a lot of the time when you find women marry uh, into polygamy. Leave Islam now on a, on a normal day. When you see women marry into polygamy, it is simply most of the time because of money or whatever position in life that that is going to change for them some women is because society laugh at women that are not yet married so women because of poverty they just if i marry him i'm going to be financially in a better position bottom line the thing is this it's one thing for a woman to marry into polygamy because they are accepting of their religion or their culture because don't forget that it's tradition it's one thing to be accepting of it it's another thing to be in it because you don't have a choice and when i speak about choice it's about being financially disadvantaged in society and other things do you know what i mean you know being financially disadvantaged in society or one way or the other that uh, things that put you at a disadvantage that makes you want to manage it because you have no choice i say it again when i saw the area of buying a car as a way to wipe away someone's tears that she has to share her husband with somebody else i just thought about the fact that you know a lot of us have to think about how we raise our daughters and not to put them in a financial disadvantaged position in society that they will not have to grow up and find themselves in a situation where they have to do stuff because they don't have a choice i say it again those that want to go into polygamy can go into it those that believe in it because of their religion or their culture they believe in it that's fine but it's sad when you see people that look like they are not happy with it but they are in it because they don't have a choice and unfortunately uh, the choice is based on the fact that a lot of the time in our societies, you know, women are at a disadvantage. And I'm hoping you watching this, it will make you think about how you raise your daughters and how you prepare them, you know, for their future. Uh, that's how I feel about it. And as always, whatever your opinions are, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye.
but 